always pick the same seat. So I'm working on doing the caulking here. We're using a big stretch today. Uh, two of the caulking types that I like to use when it comes to this, either big stretch or uh, Tower Tech 2. You got some pretty big gaps. Um, this was a homeowner that did this project. So we do got some large gaps, you know, in the carpentry work. So definitely want, you know, a caulking that's going to be able to span large gaps. We're going to walk you around and show you, you know, eventually what I'm caulking. We've got a piece of trim here. I always like to caulk this piece of trim top and bottom makes it look nice. We're going to be caulking all the nail heads. Um, some of them are uh, penetrating the siding. Some of them are not uh, flush. So we're gonna be caulking all the nail heads. We do caulk the vents. It makes it look a lot nicer. Um, that's really just aesthetic caulking when it comes to the vents, but we're gonna work our way around. Using, you know, the caulking, I've got a 45 degree angle cut on my caulking. I wanna make sure I'm filling, you know, these large gaps and large voids. You don't wanna go too fast. Once again, I do like to use gloves because I don't want caulking on my hands. There is chemicals in caulking that will, you know, absorb through your skin. So I don't like, you know, touching it. And I get, a, I've gotten accustomed to using gloves, getting a nice bead. It does take a little bit of work. Every time, you know, I have excess caulking, I'm trying to find places to get rid of it, nail heads, um, anywhere there is to get rid of it. I can get rid of it on the back sides of the soffit. We are caulking the back sides of the soffit also. Got some air bubbles in these caulking tubes. So until the air bubble comes out, usually you have a problem with the caulking coming out of the tube. And I'll release the trigger really hard like that and it'll make it easier. Just release it hard. Just a simple little tip. Get rid of the excess caulking on the back side right here. That way my gloves just don't get covered in caulking. That's all gonna be painted so you won't see it. in the vent. Customer hit the saw right there on the soffit too. So I'm just gonna lay my finger flat to do a vent. Caulk this vent right here. Flat. I'm gonna try to fill that saw blade in to get rid of some of this excess on the nail heads right there. And the siding has a pretty heavy wood texture to it. So you don't have to be super smooth. It's not like caulking an interior. You won't see any of this caulking that you're putting on the nail heads at all once you paint it. I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to wipe the caulking out. One of the big tricks is you're watching your caulking go slow enough that you can see that whole gap fill up. If you don't fill that gap up, literally it's going to crack within the first year. I'm watching it fill the gap. I'm slowing down, going slow enough that it's filling the gap. If you're not filling the gap, it's what we call skim caulking and it will crack over time. Just take my pad of my finger, I'm gonna wipe it, fill it in, wipe it. We do always caulk the corner boards too. One of the questions is, you know, am I going to caulk ends of the corner boards, ends of window trim, stuff like that. If I was to caulk right here, that's what we would call a 100% caulking package. And that's not standard. I would charge, you know, a significantly more to fill all that in. Don't want to caulk everything, you know, and seal it all up because you want the siding to be able to breathe. Corner board right here, corners, nails, the nail jobs not too bad if there's any that are sticking up really high you just definitely want to set those with a hammer but these are pretty big gaps so you want to have an excellent caulking 
So I do highly recommend Big Stretch or Tower Tech 2. Um, that's what I use on all my caulking jobs. Either one of those products, I don't use anything else. I don't trust any other caulking out there. I want something that's a lifetime warranty too. If you just wipe caulking in the middle of the siding, brand new siding right here, wipe it out, that'll go away. You know, once you start painting, we've got nails on the bottoms. We want to caulk all the nail heads. If they've penetrated the siding, it voids the warranty. So you definitely want to seal them before you paint them. So we got a good look at some nail heads that you know, the nail gun set the nails in uh, too deep. Those will take on water and eventually start to swell and cause a volcano. So we're going to you definitely want to caulk over every one of those, even the ones that haven't penetrated. that are still um, water can penetrate around the nail head and cause it to swell. So this box, we would typically, you know, paint this box to match, you know, the house. So we would paint it, but I typically wouldn't caulk it like this, but we're going to try to make it look the best we can. This um, box is like a powder coated metal. So you need a caulking that will stick to that. And we'll try to just smooth out some of this with this extra caulk on my hand. Some big gaps up here in the soffit. That's where it's important to have something like this product to fill these gaps. Big stretch will span like a gap, like, like a two inch gap or so. It's, so this is a big like one inch gap right here. And if you use an inexpensive caulking, you definitely are gonna run into a problem with that cracking and you'll see the customer it's got some caulking they, they already done that's already cracked and the house hasn't even been painted yet. So very important to use the right product. If the gap is too big, use backer rod to fill it in. When I get to a place like this, I can't caulk underneath this trim board. So I'll just caulk part way. Come as you are. This air conditioner makes the caulking dry really fast. So you gotta move quicker because it'll start to coagulate. So you can't put on as much. When I get to the window, I don't want to get any caulking on the window, but I do want to caulk them. So I'll get my sponge out to sponge caulk those. Once again, got to caulk the vent. Really small. This is just aesthetic caulking. Getting pretty close to this being done. Gonna start some sponge caulking. I like to do, also keep the tip of my caulking gun clean. That way I can get a good bead of caulk. This bar has got me missing that church. I gotta get back to my soul and start searching. When you walk through customer attempted. You can see right here where it's cracked right here. And that was because the gap didn't get filled using an inexpensive cheap caulking. Try to feather all this out, smooth that out, make hopefully 
Um, that'll look better once it's painted. So the customer attempted to, you know, patch all this right here. So we're gonna be repainting all this. Settle in, let her run, feel the glide. See, we already got spiders already nesting up already around Enjoy here. That's what caulking does, eliminates where they can hide and live. I'm gonna sponge caulk these windows right here. Girl, your perfume is lingering. Feel your touch is on my skin. So the sponge is gonna keep my hands wet give me more working time, working the caulking. I'm able to get rid of the excess on the sponge. Don't want, I'm gonna wipe it all off the window to see if you don't get enough in the gap, like right here, it's gonna crack. So fill that gap up. It's really critical doing this, a vinyl window you want a good caulking that's going to, you know, stick to vinyl, a brand new vinyl like this that hasn't weathered or anything. So, you know, I'll use a use. You got three options I can use. AU1 is one option that's amazing. It's expensive, but it sticks to hard to stick surfaces and it will stick to the vinyl. Tower Tech 2 is a great product that will stick to this vinyl too and big stretch they're all three of them are great options we've got some really big gaps so um all three options are the only thing i would use and trust to stick to the windows or span these gaps you know there's going to be expansion contraction movement and it will crack if you don't use a really good caulking we're not painting the windows. The windows are white vinyl. So if you get caulking on the windows and you don't paint over the caulking, this exterior caulking will um, stay tacky, will collect dust and dirt over time. So it's really important. You don't want caulking on the window to begin with. You only want it in the gap. Don't be in a hurry. Fill the gap. We got a pretty big gap. This one's kind of like borderline i could possibly fill it with backer rod but i do trust big stretch to span this whole gap without cracking over time but don't get yourself too far ahead of yourself either when it's really warm outside you know because you'll your caulking will start to dry and coagulate and it's really hard to work and i smooth out like short sections too so i don't get a lot built up on my fingers that's going to smear it all over the window either when you start to get too much caulking built up on your sponge you just rinse it out that's why I keep a bucket of water i don't caulk these sides i don't caulk the bottoms that's that would be a hundred percent caulking package that i would charge more you do want this once again siding to breathe Siding needs to expand and contract. So you typically don't caulk it, but if you want to control bugs getting in your house, um, cutter bees, stuff like that. If you got a bad cutter bees problem, you can do 100% caulking. I want to have a nice smooth bead all the way down. This is a door where people are, will be coming up and approaching and seeing it. So I want to have this look really nice. When I caulk cottage lap like this, I go, I don't go in a downward motion because it won't fill underneath the lap. So I go upward in an upward motion. 
just like this. I'm going nice and slow, making a good bead when I feel my fingers start to dry out. Just re-wet it. I eventually get to a point where I can't go upward. And I'm gonna have to go downwards. Some of them where they stick out a little bit right here. Just gonna feather those out. And I'll push upward, upward, upward. Just like that. If it actually rained the way this is set up, the flashing is gonna kick a lot of water down on this window, over the top of the window. It's gonna cause the window to leak. It's gonna damage the siding. This needs to kick it out. Um, the homeowners put some caulking on here maybe to help that, but you know, I'm gonna to suggest to the homeowner that a roofer you know, get some flashing up here and kick it out even farther so it won't run on top of the window at all or even better yet, you know, having gutters on here and everything will run into the gutters, but you would still want, you know, a piece of flashing up a little bit higher to kick it into the gutters so no water will get behind there. It's kind of a little, you know, um, homeowner tip, you know, we're always seeing, you know, things. And if you can help the homeowner, you'll know, protect their house. Um, it'll make you look good as um, a painter and, um, you know, builds trust, you know, in you and your company. Somebody recently asked, um, if they should use silicone caulking um, on their exterior of their home. Uh, that would be a really bad idea. So, and I'm sure they're probably talking about 100% silicone. 100% silicone is not paintable. I would use something like that inside of a bathtub where you're, that's like um, a porcelain bathtub or a uh, fiberglass bathtub. Um, silicone, uh, it's very rare where you would actually use it. There are a latex or siliconized caulking that um, is not 100% silicone. And make sure if you buy a siliconized caulking, Caulking, it'll say right on the caulking whether it's paintable or not. Do not use any caulking on the outside of your house that is not paintable. And it's going to say someplace, you know, on that um, tube of caulking. So I'm looking at this tube of caulking and it says um, right here, signing brake powerful, 100% uh, big stretch, water cleanup paintable it says paintable right there 100 percent silicone you have to clean up with mineral spirits or paint thinner so don't put it on the outside of your house i see you using white caulking all the time do you ever use colored caulking yeah typically like the predominant caulking that i do use is white because we're always uh, typically always painting over it so it doesn't matter you know uh what the color of the caulking is white caulking is thicker and more viscous and tools better than clear caulking so we typically use white occasionally we're going to use a colored caulk where um, we're spanning a gap of a surface that you know is the color we want to match and um and you know it has to match that surface, but it's not going to be painted. Like our frog tape or something's going to, you know, split that gap. And so, if I was up against, say, like um, a, a tile, um, grout, um, granite, something like that, I'm going to use the colored caulking so it matches wh what I'm doing. If I'm trying to get perfectly straight lines with frog tape and the trim is black, and I'm going to caulk over my um, my frog tape to make sure I get a good seal, I want a colored caulk that's going to match my trim. That way if any little specks bleeds underneath the tape, you won't see it when I pull my tape. So there is a time and a place for everything. We do keep colored caulking in our vehicles. Uh, Sashko also makes an amazing product that you can tent the colored caulking or tent the caulking any color you want it by just adding paint to it without any tools. It's very simple and easy to use. You gotta try it. Your smile, well it's miles and miles away. Settle in, let her run, feel the glide. Yeah, feel oh, it is, sun. yeah. Enjoy the ride. So I'm getting ready to just do a color match check on this house. The house was previously painted with montage paint. I want to make sure this is the right color before we come back to do any painting, because if it's not, I'll need to get the right color. A little dot on there. Looks a little bit light, of course, but it's gonna dry. Um, the color montage, uh, I think it's Blue Bayou. So, 
We got that. Heck yeah. We'll break this out next time. You guys will see this. This dude sent it to me and it like, you put it on and it like makes it so when you're spraying, your head will rest on it when you're leaning oh back. It's thick. <laughs> and I told him, dude, that's the silliest thing ever. He was like a chiropractor and he was so mad at me. He's like, send it back to me. And I'm like, I'm not sending, I don't ever send stuff back. When people yeah. send me stuff, it's mine. And he was so mad, he kept threatening me, <laughs> send it back. And I'm like, no. And so I've, every now and then I take photos wearing it. <laughs> Yeah, feel the sun. Enjoy the ride.